This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce, and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events and unlockables. Ah, you're finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. Notice how workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the wood mill. Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. We can use this stone to upgrade various buildings and walkways. And, just like the wood mill, by allowing workers to build around it, the stone industry can expand. Resource extractors cannot be upgraded. Encourage workers to settle around them to gain more output. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower, in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These are the worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. There is no iron available for this upgrade. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. With iron, we can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. It's too deep here to build anything. You have no available commanders on your roster. Commanders and their valuable retinue can be found across the Ursi. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. With iron, we can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel.
With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Command tower foundations are strong battlements that support your tower. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to them. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. Your surveyor can build a woodmill here. Build it and attract craftspeople and industry around it. Improving the distance, wood can be supplied in our settlement. Too close to something else. This trade route is now connected. The captain can try. Buildings on the horizon. You have enrolled a trade ship. This building houses a commander who is now in your service. You may reassign them to any command tower you wish. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced town. This trade route is now connected. have enrolled a trade ship captain. They can be a... Buildings on the horizon. This resource extractor is missing access to workers.
a ship. You have enrolled an officer. They command a mighty warship to defend your trade routes. This building houses a commander who is now in your service. You may reassign them to any command tower you wish. Additional forces have joined our battle group. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back. A local storm has been spotted nearby. Some factions use these as cover for their war parties. We should investigate. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. The surveyor has been destroyed. Luckily, you made it out in one piece. We are building you a replacement now. A new surveyor has been constructed at great cost. Do take care of this one. Additional forces have joined our battle group. This is too close to something else. Your surveyor can build a mine on this one. Worker. There it is. There it is. You cannot expand further without access to wood. Scout around with your surveyor to put the sea tree fungi. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Mine will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. You have enrolled a trade ship captain. New forces are ready nearby. Fly up to their command tower for them to join our battle group. You have enrolled a trade ship captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. <laughs> 